Welcome to McAnall's Shotgun Wedding. Well, here we have uh, the best man of the wedding, uh, Dick, Dick Dover. Uh, Dick, just a quick wor- few words there before the ceremony kicks off here. Um, have you any personal stories about uh, the, the groom today, Ben? Your brother? Well, what can I say about Ben? He's been like a brother to me. He is, hold on, he is your brother, Dick? I know, that's why I said he's been like a brother to me. Oh, sorry, okay. I don't want to give away too much, you know, before I say my speeches and stuff. I'll just be glad, come Saturday, I'll have my own bed. Well, first of all, congratulations on your, your big day. I know you've probably waited for this for a long time. Can you tell us, how you, everyone, how you met? You're a lovely wife. Um, I met over in uh, the Kids Bay Hotel one night there, so did... Uh, to be honest, I was looking for somebody else, but we'll say no, I'll tell her. She'll not see this. Well, sir, right in there, and she'll have a down jersey on her. Oh, man, we get the knees, like ourselves. But uh, <laughs> thought ourselves we'll sit down and have a meal. Lovely meal, dessert, it was shite. Um, <laughs> Apart from that, I'm glad this is happening and hope it's going to make me happy, especially now that we're having a child again. What does it mean uh, to you to be here today to at your friend's wedding? I came all the way from America. I can't fucking wait. I've been in the tea garden for about two weeks and now I'm ready for a wedding. <laughs> all right, yeah, the big day's finally arrived here. You're getting married to the love of your life. Is it everything that you ever imagined? Oh, and more. John Morgan, a Mayo Bridge man. You need to build a bridge and get over it. <laughs> I'm so excited, can't wait, even though I'm eight months pregnant and boy, he's not really the daddy, but he's going to love it as much as he loves me. We have uh, Father Filipino, um, he's travelled a fair distance to be here at the wedding today. Um, Father Filipino, can you tell us here uh, what it means to, uh, to be at an Irish wedding? And have you ever done an Irish wedding before? No, I have never done an Irish wedding and it, it makes me feel very happy to come all the way to the Philippines with children that are starving over to this lovely scenery of Sydney, Australia and just see all these happy people and everything. It's just amazing. And related to the, um, the bride's um, mother and just rang and said, would I come over and do the mass room and everything and I was delighted to come over. And you know there's a fair bit of drinking there at these Irish weddings. Uh, have you any objections to the amount of alcohol that's taken at these? No, no, I just I to get it because uh, I like to drop myself now and again, you know. What would be your preferred top of father? Oh, uh, Brenda. Here we have uh, Granny Dunn and Fonda Stifler, uh, mother of the bride and the grandmother of the bride. We're just going to get a few words here. Um, Fonda, for you firstly, do you, can you remember your wedding day and have you any advice for your, your young daughter today? Well, first of all, I can't really remember my wedding day. I was at Lotus. God knows that I wouldn't have been marrying that fella. Huh. Um, advice? Yeah, I do have advice. Don't get married. <laughs> Bloody madness. Life sentence. Okay, thanks a million for that. I hope you have a great day. Um, gran- granny Dunn, Granny Dunn, uh, just a few questions. Can you remember um, your wedding day? And are you really proud of your granddaughter here today getting married? What? Um, just, just a few questions there about the wedding. Can you remember you when you get married? Oh, what? Can, can you remember your wedding day? Who are you? Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you remember the last time you had sex? What? <clears throat> Alright folks, here we'll have uh, Dick Stifler. He's uh, a, a groomsman here today of, the, of Ben. And he's also uh, the brother of, uh, of the lovely bride. Have you any, uh, would you like to share any stories, Dick, about uh, the stag night there that happened in, in Van Dorn? Well, <laughs> no. Where do I start from there? It was... Uh, Back there up, we left Bally Gully there up in the north, and uh, as you do, crowd of boys there, a few wee drinks here, a few wee drinks there, and we ended up in the beautiful Vendor. Oh, mistake night, anyway. Well, now, oh, sorry, um, well, now, there's me and Dick there, the man sitting beside me tonight, and uh, Damien McKenna, the, man, the mountains of Primroy there. The fairy man he is. There was Daniel Fox from Lock of Royal. <laughs> we haven't seen him since this day. That man is still running. That, we'll never see that lot again. And uh, there was a couple of you new know, Jaffa there. I like that man's curls. And then the snake Donnelly. Jesus, <laughs> wait till you hear the crack about that man. Jeez, that man got arrested, you know. But hey, we kept that in quiet for a long time. No, fuck. Was there any ladies in the same deck that night? No, not for the snake. There wasn't. He was, it was like Oxford Street down there for the Mardi Gras last weekend. That man, he loves the sun. <laughs> Not 
was up to the sky with Henry. Well, see you on Saturday night. Come along and bring your friends. Oh, jeez! That's it, folks. You've heard from all the brave groom this Saturday night. The shotgun wedding down in uh, New South Wales Lead Club, 165 Phillips Street. It's a good night, Sprague. Always on this Facebook. See you there. Good night.